You may be wondering why stocks are so important for a long-term investment program. The short answer, over time, stocks produce better returns than other investments. The past 60 years, stocks have returned about 10% a year. Bonds have averaged 6% a year. Treasury bills or bank CDs around 3. That doesn't seem like a big difference, does it? But the power of compounding makes an enormous difference over time. Suppose you invest $50 a month and earn 6%. After 30 years, you have over $50,000. Go ahead and play with the numbers yourself. The more time you have to let your earnings compound, the better results you'll get. A 20-year-old who invests $200 a month and earns 10% on his money all along will have $1.1 million by the time he was 60. A 35-year-old would have to invest $800 a month to have the same $1.1 million at age 60. You're going to have a tough time getting that 10% return without at least some stocks in your portfolio. Before you start to invest, ask yourself one question. When will I need to use this money? The stock market is a long-term investment. If you need to use the money anytime soon, you should not invest in stocks. This is money you're willing to put in the market and leave it there for 5, 10, 20, 30 years. That's the kind of money you can do well with. If you're worried about it, don't invest it. The stock market is volatile. Individual stocks are volatile. The average range for a stock in a year is 50% between its high and its low. Stocks go up and down. The market goes up and down. If you're investing with a one or two year time horizon, you shouldn't be in individual stocks. You shouldn't be in equity mutual funds. If you've been lucky enough to save up lots of money to send your children to college and they're starting school in two years, what are you going to do if the market goes down? In the long term, 10, 15, 20 years or more, stocks have beaten bonds and banks, certificates of deposits. But in the short term, there's no telling what will happen. In 1987, the S&P 500 fell 33% from its August top to its October bottom. If you had the stomach to ride through that drop, you would have found that the S&P performance from 1987 through 1992 still outperformed Treasury bills and long-term government bonds, despite that decline. If you want to double your money quickly and safely, fold it in half and put it in your wallet. Any other way, you're simply gambling. A good stock can take two, three, even five years before it really pays off. It's not two or three weeks. It's not two or three months. My best stocks have been in my fifth, sixth, seventh year. Give your investments time to grow. Investing is a personal thing. You have to do it by yourself. You don't do it with a committee. You have to be able to have the emotional strength to stand the volatility of the market in general and stocks in general. It, the key organ here is not the brain. It's the stomach. You have the stomach for this. You have the patience for it. You should be able to look in the mirror and say to myself, what am I going to do if the market goes down? 